The release window of the Northrop Grumman Cygnus spacecraft is open, still targeting an on-time release at 10 a.m. Central Time, 11 a.m. Eastern Time. And Matthias, can you verify no exercises currently in progress? I confirm no exercise in progress. Copy, thank you much. Proceeding with release. The release command has been sent. This view from the end of the latching end effector. We'll start to see movement shortly. Lapse blue. The red dice blue. Open blue. And the snares on the latching end effector are open. We are standing by for visual confirmation and separation of the vehicle. Snares open. Begin monitoring for drift out. Copy. Monitoring for drift off. And we have release of the Cygnus spacecraft at 10.01 a.m. Central Time, 11.01 a.m. Eastern Time, 268 statute miles over the South Pacific Ocean. In has exited the lead. Copy. Matthias Maurer confirming that the vehicle has exited the Lee or the latching end effector. This view from his workstation in the cupola module as he monitors its departure. Proceeding with back away. Copy, proceeding with back away. The Canon Arm 2 now backing away from the Cygnus spacecraft as we prepare for Cygnus's departure burn to take it out of the International Space Station's keep out sphere, that 200 meter radius invisible sphere around the station. This is RMS to vehicle clearance approximately 1.5 meters. Copy, good clearance at 1.5 meters.
Here runs approximately 4.5 meters and more. Ready for step four. Copy, 4.5 meters. And we concur with step four. The spacecraft now 4.5 meters away from the Canada Arm 2, and the Canada Arm 2 continuing to back away. Victor's depart, commanded. Copy. The Cygnus depart burn has begun. This burn lasting a few minutes and taking it out of the keep out sphere around the space station. And one decimal six zero two. And back away complete. Canada Arm 2 has completed its back away procedures. Here's another view of Cygnus. As it continues to depart the International Space Station and its departure burn continuing to proceed nominally or well. This is Matthias Maurer's view as he is in the cupola at the cupola workstation. Again, Cygnus departure today was commanded by flight controllers here on the ground rather than astronauts aboard the space station.